to one thing that Stephen said, you know, you said about something about how we're afraid of all of this data coming in from the sorcerer project. I mean, as you can see, I mean, on the slides there, I mean, we dealt with the problem. We asked the French Secret Service to blow up Craig Venturships the way they did for example, these boats. <laughs> Okay, so the next speaker is <laughs> Nasri Nahas. <laughs> I mean, Nasri Nahas is from Jinbio Geneva. He's a CEO of Jinbio since 2003. He was a CEO from 2001-2002. Before, he held various scientific and business positions within the biotech industry, particularly in Genset and Valigen. He studied and he lived in Beirut and he went to Paris and he's now in Geneva. As bio links with, I put of course, Ron Apple, Daniel Schwasser, which were co-founder of you. Bio. And you. Yeah, but I don't put Daniel bio links to me. I mean, so. <laughs> Lydie Bougadere, which was at the Genset, Frederick de Sachek, which was a chief scientific officer of Gene Bio, and Cecil Taro. And one or two people of the audience know why I put the name Cecil Taro here. No, as I said already, it's the first day. Nasri was stuck in Geneva trying to get his family back, which are now they are back in Geneva, so everything is okay. And Ron accepted to give the talk for Nasri. So thank you, Ron, for giving Thank you, Amos, for this nice introduction, and I follow up to give the precision, please note as a preliminary remark, that this is not my talk, it is Nasri, Nasri's talk, so I take no responsibility uh, for what have, will be shown, nor for what will be said. Uh, anyway, uh, we are very glad to be the gold sponsor of this uh, 20th Swiss for 20th birthday. We wished uh, we would not be the only one, but that's life. And we are very happy to be part of this celebration. So, uh, as we are sponsors, this is a sponsor talk. So, it will not be a scientific talk. It will be a pure commercial talk, even though, no, this is serious, even though um, we are I am going to talk about the love story between Jin Bayo and Swiss Prot that happened in three acts. So, act one, it all started when Amos did his PhD and decided to build the SwissPod database, which quickly became uh, the reference in life science for protein sequence database, as you all know. But life alone is sometimes tough, and a few years later, in 1996, was the big Swiss prot funding crisis, and there was no money anymore for Swiss prot. So, Act Two here came these wonderful, extraordinary, brilliant scientists. I'm not saying that. Nasri is saying that. Ron Apple, Amos Berok, and Dennis Horschwasser who founded uh, GeneBio, which uh, is affiliated, uh, associated to SIB, and had the initial mandate to distribute to the commercial company, not only SwissProt, but also other databases and products developed at the uh, SIB, uh, in order to give, provide um, part of the funding necessary for SwissProt. Uh, another goal of the company was, of course, to develop as a sustainable bioinformatics company. So that happened end of 1997, and it was the start of a, a quite important, uh, long-standing uh, collaboration uh, in the Lake Geneva region between SIB on one side, the Swissport Group, and the 
Proteome Informatics uh, Group, the P Group in Geneva, and GeneBio, and the uh, Academic uh, Proteomics Group at the University Hospital and University of Geneva in the medical school. So during these uh, seven years, uh, Jean Bayo gave a loyal service to uh, SIB in, and in to, to Swissport in particular. Uh, during this time, Jean Bayo managed to have uh, 400 worldwide companies sign about 700 licenses for Swissport. And as you can see, even uh, during the last two years, when it was officially announced that uh, SwissProt uh, would stop to be uh, licensed through GeneBio, uh, GeneBio put a lot of effort to sign even more and more licenses. So these were licensed uh, all over the world, in the United States, Europe, and also Asia. What is quite important uh, from the funding point of view is that 75% of the revenues going back to uh, the developers, uh, Gene Bayo could give to SIB and EBI, to the Swissport Group, more than 20 million euros over these 70 years as funding for the uh, database. Um, interesting is that most customers, 98% uh, of the customers uh, for the SIB, SIB databases, 98% of the customers were customers for SwissProt. 70% uh, were had also license for ProSight. 27% uh, for Swiss 2D Page, and all over 28% of the customers had licenses for all three databases. But unfortunately, life is also about separation. So in 2004. SwissPot left me. It's, it's not because of, it's not a part of the love story. It's because someone else, a little bit more powerful than Jin Bayo, wanted to have uh, SwissPot. And that was the start of a new, very nice story, new love story, which is Uniprot. So, act number three, life after SwissProt, there is a life after SwissProt, at least for GeneBio. So since uh, GeneBio was founded, uh, it developed from its initial mandate to sustain uh, DSIB into uh, bioinformatics, self-sustainable bioinformatics company. And our current vision is the following. Uh, this is what Wolfgang Goethe said, everything has been thought of before, the challenge is to rethink it. We have the data, there are some tools, but we still don't get the essence of things. We have to rethink how things are done. And the vision can also be explained in this way. There has been a, a paradigm shift on the relationship between data and knowledge. 20 years ago, you had a number, a lot of data, but each piece of data was also knowledge. You had as much knowledge as data. And now we have so much data that it's not possible anymore. We don't have the tools necessary to extract knowledge, to make sense of, out of all these data. The tools are not enough. We have too, too much data. So stop producing data. Several people uh, spoke about that uh, yesterday and today. We have to find tools, and that's what we are developing at GeneBio to help uh, our users to help scientists uh, make sense out of that. So the goal is to transform, to provide tools so that you can transform the masses of heterogeneous information into structured, relevant uh, knowledge. So very briefly to finish, the various products that we are proposing are in three areas. One is content solution. We are still providing two SIB databases, ProSide and swiss 2 page. And we have developed a project which is linked to SwissProt, a dis discovery platform uh, that helps scientists integrate additional information that uh, was taken out of uh, GeneBio. We have formed a joint venture called Current Biodata with the 
Current Science Group, now called Current Navigation Group. You probably know them through the, they are behind Biomed Central, the open access uh, journals. So this is a nice venture we are working on now. The second area is training. We have been carrying out for several years uh, training in Geneva on bioinformatics to help scientists understand all the various bioinformatics resources that are available. And we have now developed an, uh, a web platform where people can self-train on that. And then we have our software platforms uh, with uh, three uh, main products. Phoenix, which is a data analysis platform for mass spectrometry for identification and characterization of proteins from mass spec. Uh, Melanie Image called now Image Master, which is a 2D gel analysis software and MSight. And quickly, what this software do, so Melanie Image Master is a collaboration now with G Healthcare. So it was developed at SIB since 1984. In 1994, the SIB distributed it commercially through BioRad, and then since 1999 with uh, GeneBio. And uh, in 2003, uh, GeneBio started uh, to join forces with what was called at this time Amersham Bioscience, which is now a division of GE Healthcare. And we launched together a new version in September 2003. Now we are at version 6 after two, 20 years of developments. And this is now distributed through GE. What it does, it is a complete package to analyze your 2D gels. You can enter a large set of 2D gels. It will detect spots, match your gels, compare them, and you have a number of analysis tools that allow you to carry out all your analysis, including differential expression analysis. Our flagship product is called Phoenix. This is a platform to analyze and characterize, to identify and characterize proteins and peptides from mass spec data, was uh, developed by GeneBio in collaboration with SIB. Uh, and we launched our first, is fairly recent, we launched our first version in September 2004 and just released version 2.1 at the uh, meeting of the Associ American Society for Mass Spectrometry. The key features of this product is, I would say the heart of this product is a very robust scoring scheme that was developed by Jacques Collinge and Alexandre Maslow, which was taken into Phoenix. Uh, it is a truly probabilistic uh, scoring scheme, takes into account, and this is very special, a lot of quantitative and structural information to score the hits, the identified uh, peptides. Also, special is that it can uh, be optimized for different lab settings and different uh, instruments. And finally, it was validated in a large-scale proteomic uh, industrial setting that was running it on 1,400 uh, CPUs. There are a lot of other features which I will not uh, go into details. Maybe just show you some screen dumps. This is our web interface. You have a central desktop where you have all your jobs. For each job, after proteins have been identified, you can display all the candidate proteins and select each of them. You have the detailed peptides that were identified, or you can display the look one spectrum after the other and see what peptide has been matched. You can see that uh, graphically display the uh, spectrum and see for each peak to what ion series it was uh, matched and, and so on. Details on how the peptides cover the protein sequence. And there are many other uh, features available, including the possibility to compare results. You can launch, run your, your, your job with different parameter settings and you can compare the results or import the results of other similar programs from other vendors. Uh, we are now developing at, um, they are now developing at SIB uh, new imaging software called MSight, which does uh, image analysis of LCMS data similar to, to Melanie, to ImageMaster, to Digel. So when you have your raw LCMS mass spectra, 
you, you can launch them into MSight and analyze them uh, visually with all the statistical um, packages also do differential expression analysis. Uh, then in parallel, when you have your pick list, you run them through Phoenix, you get all your identified peptides, you can export them into MSight and then visualize on the images what peptides have been identified with Phoenix and from there go and visualize details in Phoenix. And the last product I quickly mention, but basically I discussed that already, is our e-learning platform, eProximis, which uh, was launched two years ago and is now a collaboration with the SIB. So in the very near future, uh, in the coming few weeks, it will be freely available on the Expasi site website of SIB, freely available for academics. And it provides many different ways to uh, explore all the existing bioinformatics resources. And uh, last but not least, we have uh, developed an extensive network, first at the academic level, of course, with SIB and also with the university in Geneva. Also, we have a number of strategic partners, uh, GE Healthcare, Broker Diatonics, the mass spec manufacturer, uh, GeneData, Wiley, and uh, Science Navigation Group, and also very important, a number of distribution partners, um, including BIGG, which is linked to uh, Takashi Gojabori, which is here in the room from Tokyo. So I thank you very much for your attention. This is Nasri in front of our branch in Japa. Thank you. Thank you, Ron and Nasser. Do we have any questions? <laughs>